And so from there, and so God's like, oh, you wait. All right, I got this. Hold on. Then, then, wait, there's more. He goes, they are dreaded and fearsome. They're just the same. They can go forth from themselves. And so now, God is describing the people that he's going to send to the kingdom of Judah. That these Chaldeans, right, they are dreading the person. They're scary. They're brutal. They're like, and so, yeah, that's that's how, that's probably how the good kind of feels right now. He's like, what? <laughs> For real? And then God's like, yeah, yeah, but there's more. And, and in verse 8, their horses are swifter than lepers. They're more fierce than the evening wolves. Their horsemen press proudly on. Their horsemen come from afar. They fly like an eagle, swift to devour. And so now, Habakkuk is like, wait. All right, first is the Chaldeans. They're a pagan nation. And you're going to send them to fix the problem. And not only that, these people that you're sending, they, they have horses that are like leopards. These horses these horses are like are like night wolves. These horse and, and their horsemen who's riding on them are like eagles. They're super fast like eagles. I can imagine having is like, what is going on? I've I've already had it. Now God, what are you doing? And so God continues on. He goes in verse nine. They all come for violence. All their face, faces forward. They gather up, gather captive, captives like sand. At kings they scoff, and at rulers they laugh. They laugh at every fortress, for they pile up earth and take it. Then, the, then they sweep by like the wind and go on, guilty men whose men as might as their God. I said that because there's an exclamation mark there. But, <laughs> but that means God's all like, this is this is for real. This is like these guys aren't aren't just like cartoon characters to come and fix things. These guys are brutal. They're violent, and they are out to do to to do my bidding because I'm sending them. And so it's almost so now that shred of hope that Habakkuk had. He's all like, oh man, it's like I'm back to the drawing board, God. <laughs> Like, I don't know what you're doing first. It was already horrible, and now you're going to send even really even more horrible people to fix our problem. So it's kind of like, if you put that into our terms, it's kind of like when you lose your job, and then you file for unemployment, and then it's not approved. You already lost your job, and you can't even get unemployment. Or it's, it, it can also be like when, when students, when you got to study for a test, you study so hard, you know, and, 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 and the, the test is going to be hard. You don't know if you're even going to do it right. And then you go there and you realize, you go to school and you realize you've been studying for the wrong test, right? It's just things are getting stacked up. Things are getting harder and harder. It's confusing. Or it's when, um, when, when, when Filipinos leave the Philippines to, to, um, to work here in the States. And they're, they're alone, they're lonely, they're, they're by themselves, they're, they're trying to find a job, and when they find a job, right, they send money back to the Philippines, because, you know, that's why they're here, they're supporting their family, and then it comes to find out, not only are they lonely, not only, not only and, and that they, 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 feel, they feel like they're by themselves and they, need, they miss their family, but that money that they've been sending has never even gotten to them, right? It's just stack upon stack upon stack, and that's what Habakkuk is feeling right now, like, He's like, hey, God, I'm, I'm kind of holding on a string here. I, I, don't, I don't understand what's going on. I feel like, like, it just sounds worse. It just sounds worse. I don't know about you, but I'd probably be throwing the towel now. I'd be like, I made my, I made my wife glad. I, I give up. I don't know. The Chaldeans? They're horse leopards? Horsemen who are like eagles, yeah, they're fast, they already, so they're a cat, cat eagle, they're, yeah, and so, um, so what does Habakkuk do, what does Habakkuk do, what should he do, and I think that what he does is, um, is kind of, he kind of defies what we probably would do, what he does is he awakens the wonder in looking back at who God is, he moves forward. Like that he doesn't he doesn't um, go out of sight, out of mind. Because it's real. The kingdom of Judah is in shambles. The kingdom of Judah is 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 like they're 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 worshiping worshiping Baal, they're they're also sacrificing kids to, to Moloch. All these crazy things are happening. It's happening.
happening as God is speaking to him, right? And so, um, so what does he do? He looks back at who God is. So let's go back to let's go back to scripture. Oh, in verse twelve, he looks back at God's attributes. He looks back at how amazing God is, and he says this in a rhetorical question to God. He goes, "Are you not from everlasting?" In verse twelve. O oh Lord, my God, my Holy One, what sh we shall not die. O oh Lord, you have ordained them as a judgment, and you, O oh Rock, have established them for reproof. And so here, Habakkuk, in his desperation, in his confusion, in, in all of these things that are stacking up and keep stacking up in his heart, all the burden that he's been dealing with, he goes and says, you are from everlasting. Aren't you, God? He's saying, God, you are eternal. God, you are endless. God, you are infinite. God, you are omnipresent. You're everywhere. God, you're that amazing. 